Welcome everyone to the Oxapar boats and Brabus Marine press event here in sunny and really, really, really warm Cannes International Yachting Festival. My name is Jan Erik Vitala. I'm the founding partner of Oxapar boats, and it's my pleasure again to see so many of you here today. The world looks different when you're on a boat. Leaving the shore and seeing a broader horizon is an electrifying sensation. And we believe it should be accessible for everyone. We open new perspectives by bringing people out on the water. No matter how big or small their adventures are, they can be great explorers or curious minds ready to give boating a try. That's why we make boats differently. Our innovative One Boat, One World concept stands for boats of great value that are multifunctional, easy to handle, and fuel efficient. Our exceptional yet user-friendly designs have been loved, questioned, and replicated. As the industry forerunner, we welcome ambitious competitors and even those who imitate when it's for the greater benefit. We share the love and respect for the nature with our ever-growing global community of Axaparians. Are you ready to step on board to discover new perspectives? We are the Adventure Company. We are the Adventure Company. It was words you heard in the video, which is something close to our heart, <clears throat> because this was more or less a more of a revelation to us when we started seeing Oxapar and Oxapar owners using their boats all over the world. We started seeing one unified pattern in them and how they utilized and how they used their boats. And we saw a lot of our customers using their boats in a way that was not really the traditional way of boating. Taking a boat, going somewhere, laying anchor, sitting there, spending a day swimming, and then leaving back. Our customers used their boats more. They traveled further, they went deeper into the inlets, they were explorers. Many of our Oxapar owners were also very skilled boaters and they were searching for features and functions on the boats that they found in Oxapar. So for this we are grateful. And we strongly believe this is not only a marketing word or a marketing gimmick. This is what our company stands for. This is what drives us and this is what motivates us. And this is what will keep pushing our brand further into the future with new innovations, new functionalities, many of them who have not been seen on boats before. The mission statement in itself contained a lot of information and I recommend you to re-watch it. You will have it as part of the press um, because there's going to be a lot of information also in that. People were asking, what's our mission? And for us it was obvious. We were always working and we more or less just were devoted to build great boats. But when people really start asking, yeah, you're making great boats, but what's really your mission? We really needed to stop. We really needed to think and come out with some words that describes our company and the soul of an Oxapar. One thing which will always be in our marketing and in our brand is where our customers are always the heroes. The product will never take the part of being the hero. 
anywhere in the world, any type of usage, we just make sure that we take them there for them to create emotions and memories on the water, wherever that might be. So welcome everyone for the Kanyarin Festival. We're going to have a lot of opportunities and new products to showcase you here during this week. We have a total of 10 boats scattered up around a bit. So we will have boats in the dock. We have one boat on the e-platform, which we come to later on, and we have boats on sea trials. Number one focus for Axopar has always been offering sea trials. A lot of boat buying decisions are made on a boat laying on a stand at a nice boat show, nicely lit, but never really taken into the elements. And where we can make a difference is offering these sea trials, where a customer can immediately sea trial and experience our products, what they really are all about. And that's where an Oxopar product, in our belief, excels and differentiates itself from the competitors out there. We have brought to you four cool products to sea trial and test and have a closer look at. The 45 Cross Cabin, the 37 Cross Cabin, now equipped with a Mediterranean edition, the Bravo Shadow 900, we have a new signature edition of the 900s, and also one electrifying experience. We brought along a myriad of partners, partners who without, we would never be the company we are today. Partners that devoted understanding our mission and our targets, motivated within their own teams to develop together with us new innovative products that all boaters will benefit from, even the competitors, because our number one mission has always been, as many of these partners, is to go bolder, get more people on the water, and now we have a new partner that comes alongside, which is Evoy. But first, let's do a rehearsal. Esimerkki. 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 Thank you, Hansa, for that. Esimerkki, the Finnish word for role model. Oxopar, we at Oxopar, we really strive to inspire others, even competitors, as long as it's for the greater benefit of bringing more boaters on the water. And this is something we will stay put and we will be moving forward on in the future. Etumatka. E tu mat. Ka. Etumatka. Etumatka. Can you all repeat? Etumatka. Thank you. Etumatka is the lead, is the distance in favor of a competitor. And this is something that some companies has lost over time. This is something that we remind us every single day when we start developing and produ producing new boats, that how can we improve ourselves. We compete with ourselves. We actually do not follow what competitors are doing at all. But what we do devotedly and stringently is struggling and to find ways how we can improve our already existing products, all in order to offer new ways of functionality on water. Today, the adventure just got bigger and we're out on our biggest adventure yet, which is the Oxopar 45.
So we're happy to present, in some bold words, the first 45-foot cabin boat ever. Somebody will say, ah, there's something wrong with this. But actually, when you start seeking what's been on offer in the market in the past, we are the first 45-foot cabin boat that is fully walk around, equipped with outboard engines. There has not been one single recreational boat ever built before. What the 45 is all about is more or less a new type of fast and comfortable commuting. But it's not only about a commuter, a boat that takes you from A to B. This is actually a boat that we have been pushing to create way more sociable spaces on board that you would find on all, let's say, the cozy Italians that are all made for sun lounging and enjoying your day at anchor. But this boat comes with the addition of when the weather turns or where you want to drive in protected, sheltered conditions, you will have a fully enclosable cabin boat that closes itself in 10 seconds. Close the doors, close the gullwing doors, close the sunroofs, and you have a fully sheltered boat for all weather driving in really nasty weather. When you get on the boats, I would really recommend you to take a bit of time when you're on board and just more or less if you're on a sea trial, put the boat on neutral, let it bob in the waves, open up the balconies, open up the doors, open up the gullwing doors, spend 10 minutes at least. I know you're a very hectic schedule, but use that time to just walk around the boat and imagine how this would feel on a day out with this boat and how you can utilize different spaces on board the boat, how the interior becomes a part of the exterior how the front cabin from before being an enclosed compartment where you really never wanted to go anywhere, um, you only used it mostly for storage or occasional overnighting, this actually becomes like a small cozy nook to get yourself inside, out of the sun, out of the wind for a short while with the gullwing doors open. The 45 has been incredibly well received and we have already over 100 orders booked for the 45. So we will be having some hectic days in manufacturing the 45s. We're also here to showcase you new functional and innovative solutions on the 45. Those are mostly on this boat, on the aft deck, for those that already saw the boat in Palma. But for the all, all the others, really take time to walk around, go on the front deck, go, on, go inside, go on the aft deck, go sit in the saloon with the back doors open or with the balconies open just to get a feeling of how an enclosed, sheltered, everyday driver really can feel when the weather is nice and you really want to explore and it'll relax outside. A new feature is a multifunctional U sofa in the back. So we were thinking a lot that should we do just the multi-storage that we've done on the 37, which has been really uh, cool. But we actually rethought that, hey, what happens if we make an aft net in there without sacrificing any of the storage solutions and areas, without sacrificing anything of the sun lounging. So that is what we have here to you to show today, a really comfortable aft deck. Also what we have come up with, I think this is a first in, in a way that this is a wet bar that we have moved from inside the boat or from the middle of the boat to the one side of the boat. And we have replaced the fender box partly into a full-size wet bar outside. And the beauty with this is that you can use this model and these modifications on any of the future Oxopar 45 models coming out in the future. Whether they be the T-top, whether they be the Sun Top, which is one of our best-selling boats on the market, where we additionally have rethought a lot of new features and functionalities, spending on time on board on a fully open boat that still can be enclosed with canopies and a spray hood for when the weather turns and it gets colder, not to mention the 45 crosstop. One thing with Oxopar, and we probably haven't been strong enough to, to mention this before, but we are 100% committed. And I think it's evident in these times where energy costs is higher and higher, that we really work to create more efficient boats already since the company was founded in 2014, but already moving forward. And now when we start to go into the third generations of Oxopars, we see a huge amount of improvements when it comes to fuel economy. Just to give you an idea, the Oxopar 45 equipped with triple outboards can do a cruising speed around 4.4, 4.3. I even have it down to 4.0, but you still need to understand all is about options and weight, everything. 
but around 4.4 liters per nautical mile on cruising speed. And this is a 45 footer with 900 horsepower. This is one uh, gallon per mile for the US guys. Addition to this is that you can select more or less any speed range from 20 knots up to 30 and plus 30 knots and the liters per nautical mile actually doesn't change. So we have created more of a flat curve where you can drive the boat and you can self-select the most economical speed, whether it will be 20 knots, 30 knots, or even up to 32, 33 knots. This is also something to remember, that our boat, and the 45 for example, is doing around 4 liters per nautical mile, where we see a lot of competitors with 38 foot, 40 foot, 35 foot even, that do 5 liters per nautical mile. One of the worst I've heard is 7 liters per nautical mile. All in terms of efficiency, all in terms of sustainability for the future. And this is something that we keep devotedly pushing forward for. Going forward, I would want to introduce our CEO, Andy, Adi Pekka Saarikangas, for a few short minutes of where we are with the company today. Thank you, Janne. And welcome everybody on my behalf as well. Nice to see you, so many of you here. A few words, some of you who joined us in, in Mallorca, so this is a rehearsal for you. You have already seen the story. But the fact was that uh, last year we, we made a record in terms of, of uh, bringing boats into the market, delivering them out from the market. So over 1,000 boats produced last year. And by that, we are absolutely the biggest Nordic exporter. And 40% uh, of our production is going to the US. So US is a very, very important market for us. And that was, uh, we thought that that was a record. Now, looking for 22, or looking at the model year 22, we already know, you know, we, we're going to beat by 30% by the last model year. And looking towards end of the year, we're going to beat the, the, the last year. Not necessarily that many more boats, uh, but uh, in, in terms of quantity, but bigger boats, uh, different boats, more models, more options, and so forth, has been absolutely fantastic uh, adventure. And you need to remember, this has been roller coaster. You know, when when uh, we thought that the COVID is behind us, COVID, which put us in a, in a pretty bad spot in terms of supply chain and getting the parts into the factories. When we thought that this is all over, you know, then the war broke and energy prices, inflation, you know, and the, the supply chain again. And despite all that, I have to say, I, this, this time I have to thank the, the Axopar team. All right, thank you, everybody. Thank you. thank you, Andy. So we also introduced the new Mediterranean edition which was a huge success for the Oxapar 37 Suntop, which was launched last year at the Cannes India International Yachting Festival. Now, this functionality is even taken further on the Oxapar 37 Cross Cabin. Again, extending the sun lounging, extending the optionality that you can have on a 37 footer, but now also with the enclosed safety and comfort of a cabin boat. Whether it will be uh, sunny days out, or bad days out at sea in fall, winter or spring. Also what we did is we continued with the Mediterranean edition into the interiors. These are small things. But what's really interesting is also the other products we brought here, you, here to you today. So what is Brabus all about? This is a question I get sometimes. To me, Brabus has evolved into becoming a mobility brand. Not more, not more only focusing on cars, but anything that is included in any form of mobility. It's a family-owned company that I've had the pleasure to become personal and close friends with. Konstantin Bushman continuing on his father's legacy with Brabus now over 45 years. 
making what they call a one second wow product. And this is what Bravos Marine is all about. People were asking, what is this one second wow? Constantine more or less told it to me in very simple words. You either love the products or you don't. You see it, you recognize it, you fall in love with the product, you buy it. This is probably something basic, but when it goes in deeper, I would want to bring you out what this really means. A Brabus product is always about functionality. So whatever they do in any type of genre they're doing, collaborations with watches, motorcycles, bikes, or with us, the boats, the products always needs to be with the functionality first. They also are sold to customers that search for individuality and they love details and they understand the quality, the craftsmanship, the cost and the effort it goes in to elevating a product from a standard Axopar into the luxury high performance boats Bravos is all about. Also additionally, any product they do need to have a strong confidence in performance but also safety and conveying this confidence into the drivers of these vehicles, whether it be on land or water. So following this, more or less, a cool interaction between car and the automotive industry transferred straight into the boating industry with Bravus Marine. Technology transfers are pretty immense in the products and there will be more following in the future. But today we're here to launch the Brabus Shadow 900 Signature Edition Black Ops. So the first edition was limited to 37 boats that we have now sold, and now we're here to show you the next generation and the follow-up for that. Black, bold, and more Brabus than before. That's probably the words from Constantine. So a product that has a lot of new updates, so when you step on board, you will see that there are big upgrades on the boat, but it's still the same confident Shadow 900 that has taken the world by storm in the luxury performance superboats. Then we also have a really nice product to showcase to you, which is the collaboration, again, with Brabus Marine, but taken even a step further with a really, really cool partner. So it's my pleasure to showcase to you today here in Cannes is the Shadow 300 Edition 1. And this is a perfect example of collaborations between Bravus and Axopar, where we elevate an Axopar Standard 25 into, I would want to call today, a lifestyle product. Together with Joby for making all the water equipment that you can use for a day out with the boat. Now, more or less, the I think one of the more interesting news and something that is really cool for me to announce is an electrified surprise for the market. So Axopar has joined forces with the Norwegian mobility manufacturer of e-mobility, Evoin. And together, we're up for something interesting in the future. This boat is powered by the world's first plus 300 horsepower electrical engine. And that is unique and special because this opens up the opportunity that Axopar has been searching for and waiting for when it comes to mobilizing electrification into its range of products for the future. The boat we're showcasing you today is an early prototype. So be aware, we wanted to showcase you an early prototype because we know that you are interested in the nitty gritty and you're interested in the details. So instead of bringing a polished product one year later, half year later, we wanted to showcase you what we're working on right now. And this is an interesting product in itself. P2 
people are asking why. And this is actually something interesting. If you ask Oxopar, electrification of boats is still in its very early stages. This is not feasible in the larger scheme of things within the next years to come. There will be a lot of investment required from charging stations and electrification of marinas, as well as the technology of e-batteries and e-engines. But why we do this now, together with Devoid, is that for the first time ever, we've been able to offer an actual functional electrical solution. And once the product comes out from Oxopar and Evoid, maybe 8 to 12 months from now, it will be even further evolved and even further developed to meet the demands of our Oxopar customers. And you should definitely go take this boat for a sea trial. But as there will be probably quite a lot of people wanting to sea trial, so we need to have this in the booking system, please, so that we can accommodate you in the best way to your time schedules as possible. What's really interesting with this boat is that this boat goes over 50 knots. We were out with Leif this morning. It takes really effortlessly the boat up to 51 knots of speed. And we could go faster if we want to. But actually, the speed is not the thing that we are here for. This is something you can do with that electrification. You can still use the, the speed uh, if you want to. But at the end of the day, People who buy a boat and use a boat, they go top speed, I don't know, 30 seconds, one minute, and then after that they pull back the throttle. So it's more of a funny thing to do occasionally, but the one thing that really now changes the whole setup is that with this boat, with the battery packs we have installed on the 25, we are able to do, firstly, 25 nautical miles. And this is important because when we check any sort of boat clubs or boaters in the size range of 22 to 25, their average driving distance to their location is somewhere around 10 nautical miles. And this is where other manufacturers offering 15 nautical miles of distance is not enough. So they have been limited with the locations they want to take their electric boats to, but not anymore. Additionally, very importantly, is that we can keep a cruising speed of anything from 20 to actually 30 knots, but most efficient we're doing it at 25 knots, is that many of the boats on the market today are going slower. And anybody being out in the conditions, we just have out today, very nice sunny day, but we know the swell, we know the waves, we know the conditions out there. If you're doing 50 knots, it's not going to be a comfortable ride. The boat is going to be wanting to ride, the, ride inside of the waves instead of riding on top of the waves. And this is why the 25 knots cruising speed is critical for a boat like this. But it's also really, really, really interesting because now this opens up a new opportunity. To for, a, for example, get on the boat this morning, drive to Monaco or drive to Saint-Tropez, have a lunch, charge the boat for around one hour and drive back. This is where things change. This is where it gets really interesting. Still, what makes this interesting for us? I was just using uh, different words. And probably some of these words you don't see on the current electrical boat manufacturers, uh, let's say, um, superlatives. But what we, and what is important for our Oxopar owners, is that they want to have a boat that is capable of driving in any conditions and also drive outside of sheltered waters to be expanding their usability and the time they can use their boats. Addition to that is that Oxopar with the electrification again is on a mission to be offering more opportunities for new boaters to join in. And that is for us one of the most important things when it comes to our own passionate uh, statement in the mission, what we want to achieve in the future. And now we can start using words like zero emission, no fumes into this same wording. At the same time, we also need to understand that the technology still is limited, and this is only going to be offered for the 22 and 25 range, when the boat is ready. And when the boat range is uh, launched, it will be under its own brand name and under its own range name. This also means that don't expect 28s or 37s to be coming out electrified in any day soon. 
because the technology is still not there to do the ranges, to do the distances that an Axopar owner is used to be doing with his boat. But again, we keep pushing and we're on the forefront of innovation and we want to follow the technology once it's available, when it's feasible and when it's available. I want to introduce shortly Leif into the stand or actually do it right away. Leif, please come up on the stand. Share a few Viking words from Norway about Ivoy. Thank you, Jana. This is perfect, actually. Um, I was challenged if somebody can clap before I come up, so this is a good start. <laughs> yeah, so uh, elevator pitch about Evo. I'll be very short. Uh, Evo is today the spearheading company of uh, electrifying uh, high output uh, systems for boats, electric. Uh, we today have the 400 inboard. We're working now with the 300 outboard. We also have the 120 available um, for, for the market. So we're really spearheading uh, what we're doing. And what's also interesting to see is that uh, without looking in that direction, we have very, very similar missions and visions. Uh, Evoy is uh, irresistible boating, which means that the customer is always in focus. And of course, with the mission to eliminate boating emissions, uh, I feel like we are uh, brothers and sisters in, in pushing the electric voyage forward, so to speak. So uh, thank you. We're very excited for the partnership that we have uh, now with Oxopar. Of course, we are uh, agnostic to boat builders, but I must say that we have a special place in our heart for Oxopar. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Leif. So before we go in, into fine, wrapping up this press event, I still want to be telling you shortly, more information is on the press release. But what we have actually done is that we have two battery packets from Kresel of 63, uh, cap, uh, 63 kilowatt hours of capacity. And what we actually done is that the modular construction of the Oxopar 22s and 25s, actually when they have been developed, have been focused to be electrified in the future. So we have dual battery packs in the boat and they are stored away so it takes away nothing of the functionality of the boat to the owner. And these are hidden away solutions. On the prototype, no. Actually when you go on board, and you should go on board and you should have a look, the parts that go into electrifying a boat has actually been brought forward for you to see so that you can get an understanding of what it actually goes into building an electric boat. So that it's not hidden away somewhere under deck, which you have no possibility of seeing and realizing how much of the technology still there goes into electrification of boats. We also have another short comment. We have a cool new technology emerging from the United States. And this comes from a great company called Psyonix. And we have installed their new night vision enhancing cameras which means these are not infrareds, but these enhance any possible light you will have around and give you a clear picture of driving even almost in pitch black darkness. And this we are proud to announce that this will be standard on the Oxopar 45s, standard on the Shadow 900s, standard on the Shadow 500s, and also offered for a really, really good price as an option for the Oxopar boats also going forward. This concludes the Oxopar and Brabus Marine press event here in Cannes. Thank you so much. <laughs>